guys, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a middle school makeup tutorial, so mm, 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 we got something going on today, super exciting. This is just a super nice, natural, glowing, fresh face type of look that's perfect, super easy. All the products are from the drugstore and even like the low end of the drugstore, like NYC and e.l.f. and Rimmel, and these are all products that I love, so... That is amazing, they're all incredible products, so I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get in to the tutorial. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off with concealer, and especially because middle schoolers, you know, you have pretty darn good skin. If you don't, just wear a foundation if you have acne or something, but um, more often than not, middle schoolers have pretty darn good skin, like I said. So, um, one of my favorite concealers, it's lightweight, but it does kind of brighten a little bit is the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Erasers. Mine is in Fair and don't be scared that it says Age Rewind, like that just, it's just gonna make you look great. It's not gonna make you look like five years younger than you already are, you know. You're not gonna look eight years old or something. Um, so I just kind of put it on like a triangle honestly underneath my eyes. If you think this is too drastic for you you can just um, put it directly under, but this is going to kind of brighten your eyes a lot. And I'm just using my fingers to blend this in because we're making this pretty minimal. You can, of course, apply this anywhere else. Like, I have some blemishes here. This will cover up your blemishes nicely, but it'll still let your skin breathe and kind of shine through. Next, I'm going to just set everything with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is so, so inexpensive and it's great. And I'm gonna use it with my e.l.f. complexion brush. Um, this brush, if you want, you can apply blush and bronzer and all that stuff. Um, personally, I'm not doing it for this tutorial just because I feel like that might be a little much. Um, but if you want to, totally go for it. And you can use this brush for all three things, so that's why I'm including this one. And just kind of put this all over your face. Um, most likely, Middle schoolers have pretty oily skin, you know, puberty, all that great stuff. Uh, personally, I don't, but for this tutorial, might as well. And this has a little bit of extra coverage in it, so once you put this on, it'll even even out your skin just a little bit more, so that'll be great. And, you know, you look nice, and if you get a little oily throughout the day, this will just kind of mattify you. Now, moving on, I'm going to take my elf eyelid primer this is one dollar at target so it's amazing and i don't only like it because of the price i honestly like it because it works really really well and i'm just putting a little bit on my eyes just kind of like concealer almost and just blending this all the way up to my eyebrow on my lid and this is in the color sheer so if you put it you know on your cheek by accident or something it won't show up so you're good around that. This is just gonna create a nice base for you for when you apply the shadows. Now, I know some middle schoolers might like shimmer, some might like matte shades. Personally, I like shimmer, and I'm, that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. This is the NYC Shimmer Eye Dust in Pink Topaz. So it's basically like glitter, but on a little stick, I guess. And all you do is just directly apply this onto your eyes. And this color specifically is really like a pretty natural shade. It's nothing too crazy, but they also have darker ones. They probably have lighter ones, so you can really find your own shade. And I'm just tapping my finger on top of it just to kind of like secure it and hold it down. And the same thing on the other eye. And I'm going a little bit on the inner corner when I blend, like I kind of go all the way in and then kind of pat it out too. So that way I kind of bring a little bit of the glitter to my inner corner, which is going to make you look even more wide awake and excited for school. So I'm going to put even a little bit more. This is a pretty nice applicator so you can kind of get up close and personal around your eye and, you know, really customize where you want the shimmer and stuff. And then I'm just going to go in with this Wet n Wild color icon little single shadow. This is in Brulee, and this is a perfect matte, which means no shimmer in it. Um, and it's just perfect, like, neutral color. And this is what I would say matches my skin tone the best. If you're a little bit darker, maybe look for a shade that's a little bit darker, 
or you can even honestly use your face powder for this part because you know they're pretty similar shades and I'm just going in and just kind of buffing right into the crease of my eye which is like legitimately just kind of feel with a brush and or your finger even and where you feel the bone right under that like where you can poke in that's the crease and just kind of like blend this color in and I like this color because you can't overdo it it's perfect for beginners and this is the elf professional blending eye brush it's perfect for just doing little things like this going in your eye and kind of just blending everything out this is just gonna make it so there's no harsh lines of shimmer and then your skin um, you don't have to do this it's a little bit of an extra step but you know it just kind of makes everything look a little bit more bright and finished and I'm putting even some of this underneath my eyebrow. Next if you want to do eyeliner I recommend going with a nude color which this is the Rimmel Scandalize liner in nude. This is amazing it's like three dollars maybe ish. It's incredible I don't really recommend going with a black you know I mean you can and I did but I don't know I just feel like when you look back you're just like I wore like black liner literally all over my eye so you know this 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 is something that's a little bit more timeless and if you want to wear black liner all over your eye totally do that there's nothing wrong with that necessarily makeup is all about expression but this is what I'm just gonna use for the tutorial today so yay I'm just putting this on my waterline which is like the inner lower rim I guess this just brightens your eye and it makes it look more awake and ready for the day. Now you have a lot of lightness going on on your face, you know, making it look all youthful and glowy and stuff. So we're going to kind of contrast that a little bit with an eyelash curler and then some mascara. So this is the e.l.f. eyelash curler, one dollar you guys. So this is like super super affordable makeup. Eyelash curlers can be scary if you've never used one by the way, but they're fine. You'll be fine. So this is the Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara and it is just like a nice natural but also full mascara. So it's gonna kind of pull up your lashes but it's still gonna look natural and not like they're like crunchy and like hard, you know? It's gonna make them look very soft, I guess, which, you know, might not be your goal but it looks great. You don't have to do your bottom lashes if you don't want to. Um, I think it's completely up to you. You know, I don't think I am for this makeup tutorial, but you totally could. Why not? Um, I'm just going to take this just on the top lashes. I'm going to make this a pretty natural, subtle makeup look. Lastly um, is like a lip balm, or you can do a lip gloss if you're like into those. I don't like lip gloss personally. It's too sticky, so... Um, I prefer baby lips. They're really great. They have a hint of color, but only downside is they can be like a little bit greasy sometimes, but it's nothing that I can't handle. I have one in Pink Shock and Cherry Me. And for this look, I'm going to go with the pink one. It looks pretty bright, but on the lips it does sheer out a little bit. It just adds a little bit for your face. Um, but like I said, if you want, you can use lip glosses whatever you want honestly it's completely customizable so yeah that was my middle school makeup tutorial thing <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys like it thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed please be sure to subscribe comment thumbs up and all that jazz and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys make really cute mascara putting on faces <laughs> I'm oh, Great, looking great, looking great. But on a, on a boob. <laughs> when you're, I think when you're younger, it's tough because you know you wanna have someone to go to prom with, and you wanna have.